Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is for those of you who care to know about recalls. I have three here that I got sent from our sister, Tessa. Okay, um, I'm going to start with the oldest one first. Oh, let me get rid of this. It's chocolate. Now, I know a lot of y'all like to eat chocolate. It's called, um, the title is Chocolate Recalled After Plastic Found in Products. Now, I'm not going to read a whole lot from each one. You can check for the links, and if you cannot get to the links, all you got to do is put in your comment. I can't figure out how to find the link because I, I know different devices are different. All right, this is right under the picture of the chocolate. It says Lake Champlain Chocolates, LLC, issued a voluntary recall on select milk products, milk chocolate products, after a consumer reported finding plastic pieces in the product according to the FDA. Now, here's one thing I was thinking. A lot of these that I've called out, um, all it takes is someone mad because they're being laid off or whatever to put one piece of plastic in one piece of chocolate. One consumer will find it, call and report it, and they'll issue a recall. Okay, I'll read a little bit of this. It was posted on June 17th by Nextar Media Wire. Never heard of them, but that's the, it, that's who put it up. Uh, updated January 17th. Okay. Lake Champlain Chocolates issued a voluntary recall on select milk chocolate products after a consumer reported finding plastic pieces in the product, according to the FDA. Let me check my position. Yeah, it's good. Okay. All right. The recalled... Wait a minute. Pet food recall expanded after 70 dogs die from toxin. Okay, that's a whole nother one, and I did do the recall on that dog food. Um, you could just type in the search dog food recall and it'll tell you the, the, the brand. The recalled products on the market from July 2020 through January 2021 include hazelnut five star bar it makes me wonder why all these different flavors if someone only found plastic in one kind. Okay, I'll continue. Fruit and nut, five-star bar. Almond, five-star bar. I'm wondering if this is the kind schools sell, you know, for fundraising. My brother used to sell them for Hoban High School up in Akron, Ohio. And I think some of the kids, some of my kids sold them for band or something. Anyway, almond five-star bar, granola five-star bar, organic milk chocolate bar with sea salt and almonds, milk chocolate almond bark, and chocolate of Vermont Green Mountain. Hmm. All those kinds from this one company. ICC asks customers to discontinue use and immediately dispose of any of the products listed above. You can find the full details of the recall here. And if you click on the word here, you can go to the full details. And this gives you more national stories. Oh, trouble breathing, tooth loss. Some COVID-19 patients face lasting effects. Yeah, well, she looks about 80 years old. Go figure. Most everyone survives from COVID. Listen to how they read it. It's like 99.5 or above. 
percentage of people who actually get COVID-19 survive from it, okay? For some who survive COVID-19 acting like not that many survive. Anyway, beating the virus doesn't mean the end of the fight. Symptoms such as headaches, fever, and feeling foggy can linger for months. Yeah, now they're putting out billions of dollars for research on this because it is a whole lot like what I have, ME-CFS, and now it's going to help us too. Wow, whippee, we're going to heaven. I'm not excited, are you? I'm excited about going to heaven. Yeah, I want to see Jesus and get back down here and help people. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And stop all this nonsense of taking something that's not even really for what you're taking it for. All right, let's move on. This is a recall about uh, Bob Evans. We, that's a sausage maker. Recalls about 4,200 pounds of pork sausage product. And there's a big like a stamp recall picture on here. It says, this was put up January 21st, Washington, WSAZ. Bob Evans has recalled about 4,200 pounds of pork sausage that could be contaminated with rubber. The U.S. Department of Agriculture announced Thursday. Could be. The USDA says the sausage was produced December 17th and can be identified as follows. It was all made that day. Now, how, what, maybe a rubber belt on a conveyor broke and pieces of it flapped around and flew? I could see that happening. Okay, it says one pound packages, packaging containing... Bob Evans Italian Sausage with lot code 0352 and a, quote, use slash freeze by, unquote, date of Jan, J January 3121. So if you purchased any Bob Evans Sausage, after December 17th, look on it and see if it says lot code 0352 and a use or freeze by date of January 31, 21. Okay, so if you want, this link will be in the description box also. I've got to put my feet up, little buddy. Get down off the... Let me put my feet up. Here, I'll share it with you. Lay down. He just likes to be there when I'm working. So I bought him this bed over here. It's right next to me. I could just bend over and pet him. But will he use it? Hardly ever. He likes my ottoman. Get in your little bed, Jasper. Get in your little bed. Yeah. Okay. So, that's as far as I'll go with that one. Go ahead, Jasper. Yeah, there you go. He's getting in it. That's your little bed for when I'm working. Yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Okay, now this one is from Fox Business. <clears throat> Product Recalls. Published January 22nd. So this one's pretty new. Publix recalls products containing squash following recent listeria concerns. Publix has not been notified of any illnesses related to the recalled products. What? Why do they do this? Then you can watch a video. All right. 
Publix has initiated a voluntary recall, and you can click on that link, of some products containing butternut squash after the vegetable was recently linked to multiple recalls over listeria concerns. Click here to read more on Fox Business. Okay, so it covers select public steam in a bag products that are prepared in store and contains a specific butternut squash ingredient according to the Food and Drug Administration. All right, you can go to this link that I'm going to put in the description box and scroll on down or read it yourself till you get to all these links and see if, uh, because I think you're going to have to go to a link to get the dates. Um, it can cause miscarriages and stillbirths for pregnant women. It says up here, healthy individuals are likely to suffer, quote, only short-term symptoms, unquote, from a listeria infection, including fever, severe headache, stiffness, nausea, abdominal pain, and diarrhea, the FDA said. Well, if you just took the, the V, you might have these symptoms. I hope to God none of y'all took it. Everybody here got it on the 22nd. Well, but except for a few of us. And I checked on my friend that said she didn't know if she was or wasn't. Her son wanted her to. I pretty much talked her out of it. And I went to check on her today. She couldn't, would not come to the door. I can't say could not, would not did not come to the door and there were three meals hanging on her door. So I reported it and asked, please someone get up there and check on her. I was told somebody would. Anyway, I, I'll let you go with that. It's been sad. I've been sad about it. Anyway, I hope if any of you have these products that you will at least check into it and um, pray whether you think you should return it or not or just wash it and cook it well. Now, for the chocolate, I wouldn't cook that. Just be careful when you eat it. Maybe cut it into little pieces and eat it a little piece at a time, looking for plastic, whatever. I mean, if it's so tiny you don't see it, it'll go right through you. But it's up to you. You know, they, if you saw any, you should probably throw it away, really to be safe but just pray about it you know these food recalls some of these things like one lady tells me I just wash it and cook it well and we don't have any problems and has had, had bought a few or several I don't remember of these items that I had reported so use your common sense pray about it and always pray over everything you eat and drink all right, with that, I'll say bye for now. Y'all have a blessed evening or morning whenever you see this. Okay, bye-bye for now.